Hey guys, Youth Pastor Albert here. I'm here with my 71st prayer from my book, 365 Days of Prayer for Teens. The scripture is from November 24th, and the prayer is called Approach Boldly. The scripture reference is Hebrews 4.16 NRSV. It says, Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4.16, NRSV, New Revised Standard Version. Here's the prayer. If you guys want to pray it with me or hear me pray it for you out loud. It says, God, there is no mercy greater than the mercy you demonstrated on the cross. You forgive me each time I make a mistake, even when I make the same mistake multiple times. When I go against your will, I approach you in humility and ask you to forgive me once again. If you can forgive me of all my sins, I can show mercy to those who have hurt me. Father, soften my heart to those I hold grudges against. Break down the walls guarding my heart and teach me to love instead of reject and hate. Being bold means being different, and not many people are quick to forgive. Show me this kind of boldness so I can walk in forgiveness when my selfish side would rather hold a grudge. So here's the question. It says, do you have mercy to give to others? So we think about, you know, as a Christian, when a Christian has been forgiven, when they think about how many sins they've been forgiven for, how much grace God has shown them. That's why we like to sing that song, Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. So a wretch is like a dirty person. You know, they know that they've sinned. They know that there's been shame. They've been ashamed of their sin. And they've come to God and they know that God has taken away every single one of their sins. The Bible talks about how God has thrown our sins and uh, as far as the east is from the west into a sea of forgetfulness. Um, and the cool thing about that is if you look north and south, there, there's like a stopping point north and south. But if you go east to west, it's just like a never revolving circle. So it's like God has removed our sins as far as the east is from the west. And it talks about also how he threw them in the sea of forgetfulness. So God doesn't remember our sins anymore when we're a Christian. So we can come boldly to the throne of grace and ask him for help in our time of need. Um, and that's the benefit that a Christian has. They can come to the throne boldly. And Jesus talks to us about, you know, when we go to forgive others, about how if we don't forgive, he can't forgive us. And that's why it's so important for us to have a heart of forgiveness. So if we ever have a heart that wants to hold a grudge or is bitter towards someone, we can ask Jesus to give us strength to forgive because he's the greatest forgiver. He can give us the strength to do it. All right, Youth Pastor Albert signing out. Bye-bye.